This is your display studio. This is my display studio. Um, how I started in Bogwood was a very much an accident. Um, I worked in England in the catering trade and the bar and restaurant trade and came back to Ethel 12 years ago. And I happened to be on a bog cutting turf with my father when somebody on the bog next to us put a piece of bogwood into the back of the car and money changed hands. And I said to the gentleman, I said, uh, you didn't really take money for that piece of old wood, did you? So he said, yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. And I said, and what's he going to do with it? So he said, um, he's actually going to polish that up and put it in his garden. So I said, as one does, anybody can do that. So he said, I have 50 pounds, which is that you can't. So I said, well, I can. So um, I had some old bogwood in my father's shed and I started to play about with it. And I found it very easy to, to carve and make shapes out of the bogwood, but I had a bit of difficulty um, putting a finish on it. And I tried everything from varnish to painting it to staining it and eventually I decided beeswax was, clear beeswax, would be the ideal thing. So I polished the piece up with beeswax and gave it to the gentleman and I received my £50. Thus, that's how I started. How long have you been doing it? I've been doing the bogwood for 10 years and my first exhibition was in Agra where in my spare time I had been doing very small sculptures and the lady that owns the men and bar said to me why don't you do an, an exhibition in the, in the bar? This was in the month of December and I thought Nobody is going to buy bogwood in Ackle as we don't even burn it. So after a bit of persuasion I decided to do it and all the pieces I put in actually sold, which has never happened since of course. So that was my first exhibition, then I done another exhibition in uh, the Ackle Head Hotel which was very successful and I went from strength to strength really. People uh, all over the world have bought your stuff, haven't they? Yeah, so uh, my first major commission was for Mary Robinson, the ex-president of Ireland. And after that my profile was raised very high. I had sold to people in the Lebanon, Italy, America, England, all over Ireland, um, just to name a few places. Mm -hmm. how, how, how often do you work? Are you in here most days? I would work um, really when the mood would come on me, which could be I may work for six or seven days on end, or I may just work one day a week, or I may work five minutes a day. Mm -hmm. I usually work five or six pieces on the go to at the same time and I keep coming and going to it until eventually I think that's finished. And if I like something, I'm 100% sure that there is one other person in the world that will like it. And tell me, um, you go out, where do you get the wood from? All the bog wood is sourced locally in Ackle, in uh, all of the bogs. 80% of Acre is covered in bog, so there is no shortage of bog at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what's your next venture? My next venture is actually to do a little bit of work <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully stock this gallery up and hopefully in the March of next year I will be doing another exhibition in Dublin. Yeah, because we only see very little of your work now, because most of it's sold, isn't it? 
most of the work that I uh, have had has sold this summer. Um, the last piece I sold went to Switzerland hmm. a few days ago. Um, I have a couple of local galleries stock my stuff as well, but they have only like two or three pieces left as well. Hmm. Um, and obviously you love it. It's, it's become your passion really, hasn't it? It's become a passion and it's become an addiction as well. Very good. It, um, I find that when I'm working with a piece of bogwood, I can totally blank my mind to everything else that's going to run around me in the world. It's just as if it's me, the wood, and the wood talks to me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't force a sculpture. The word actually, the wood, um, the wood actually dictates to me the end result. And I'm actually known what is a direct carver. I carve from memory. And a lot of the sculptures I would do would be uh, in sort of a mystical Ireland or fairy stories in the main. Mm -hmm.